This video is about the BC25, the 2324 model. If you've watched our uh, BC, I believe a 15, 2023 20, model, this is going to go over a lot of the same things because the BC8 through 25 all have the same new features. The only difference you're going to maybe note is on the 2023 slash 24 models, we changed out the igniter and therefore uh, we wanted to differentiate or distinguish when you purchase a roaster which igniter was in that roaster in case years down the road you need to replace one. But this has all the same features uh, that have been changed on the BC-8 and BC-15 and we're going to take a closer look at these now. It's been a while since we've done a roast on a, a video on a BC-25 so we may do that uh, just so you can see how well it works with that. But the new features, which you may have noticed if you watch the BC-15, is we've added alongside with the manual dial damper for controlling airflow, we've added the hot air volume button. And as mentioned in times past, on the old machines, we had a hot air button, which used a governor on the smaller roasters and did somewhat of a decent job where you could distinguish between uh, low, medium, and high. But because it was a governor and didn't use a three-phase motor uh, with the potentiometer to adjust that volume using a VFD, uh, you really didn't have the control. So I'm going to show you, uh, for example, it's on zero now. If you decide to use the hot air volume instead of the manual dial damper, you'll want to turn your manual dial damper up to 10 or open it fully so that you can control your airflow exclusively through the hot air volume or the electronic control. Now you're going to notice a difference between when you had 20% on a manual dial damper that was restricting air being pulled through the chaff fan at a very high speed, that it's full speed. And you're going to notice a difference on the electronic. And I don't even know if you'll be able to hear the sound, but as I turn this up to 20%, you can just barely hear the fan running. Probably if you're going to use this for uh, roasting, You'll probably want to do the drying phase somewhere in the 30 to 35 speed. And then as you go into the mallard phase, maybe 35, you up to the 50 speed, and then maybe a little bit more than that. And then as you go into the uh, roasting phase, you may go from 50 or 55 up to whatever speed you feel is important maybe 75, 80. Um, I don't think you'd need to go the full 100%, as I think you could probably hear that now. But that's, uh, that's the difference you're gonna see. In the, and the nice feature about this is you have a choice now. You can either use the manual dial damper exclusively, and if you do that, you would turn this up to 100%, and then you would control it manually with the manual dial damper or you can use this electronic speed control by turning the uh, manual damper up to its opening state of 10. That's one of the new features. Another new feature is the ability to quickly open up with a magnet, holding that down, rare earth magnet, open up and get have access to your bearing, in case you need to uh, grease the bearing every couple months. Or if you have an issue, let's say you have an issue and your drum motor stops. Either the power goes out in your building or something else goes wrong. You have this huge handle you can see right here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off or turn down to where the drum speed is not going at all. Let's say your drum just stopped. 
Now you'd want to open the door of your drum and then manually turn that handle so that all the beans would empty out. And that's a nice emergency feature, which we hope you never have to use, but it's always good to be there in case you do need to use it. One of the other nice new features is uh, the front door for the burner room. And you can see that here. And this is nice in case you have to do cleaning or maintenance, just to be able to quickly get to your burner room. It's got two thumb screws which uh, quickly come off and then you have access opening the panel door. That's also nice if in the rare case you accidentally ever break your uh, viewing window glass, which hopefully you never do. But then it's much easier to replace it rather than trying to go through the back with your hands over the, the burners as well. And you can clean out your unit to some extent from here as well as uh, view it and see if there's any issues. And of course you want to keep your burner room clean so you'll want to uh, vacuum that out frequently with the shop vac. So that's one of the other nice features that have been added. But we're not done yet. I will show you more. One of my favorite features on the 2023 and 2023 24 models is the new bearing system that is on uh, all models from the BC 3.5 up to the BC 25. And in, in days past, if you had, uh, if your drum came out of alignment and it got too close to the front panel and when heated started to rub against the front panel, uh, then you had to uh, loosen some set screws when the machine had cooled down and uh, literally stick your hand in the drum uh, to, while well, it was off obviously, and to push the drum out and then put a hex key uh, two millimeter or 2.5 millimeter hex key in between the front plate and the drum in order to adjust that then you would tighten the set screws. The nice thing about the uh, new feature here is you have these set screws which in the bigger model here of the BC uh, 25 you've got uh, four set screws and I believe they use a number three hex key three millimeter hex key. So you would loosen these set screws and once you loosen these set screws you can turn this. This becomes like a handle and you can see it's uh, got a nice uh, grip on it. Uh, um, it's riveted or whatever you want to call that uh, to where you can turn that left or right either to pull the drum closer to the front plate in the event that it's pulled away some and too much chaff or debris is falling in the debris tray or maybe even beans falling in the debris tray or if it started to rub when being heated you can then turn it to adjust it so that it's uh, uh, not rubbing against that front plate. So just to show you how this works in practice it, and you can do this on the fly if it were to start to rub against the front plate while you're roasting um, and if it was, use a glove because this uh, bearing holder gets really hot. You would just loosen these set screws maybe a turn or two and uh, at first they might be really tight so you may need to actually even uh, use a wrench with your hex key uh, to get them to turn. But then loosen them just a little bit and turning it counterclockwise pulls the drum forward and turning it clockwise pulls it away. So let's say you were to hear the drum starting to do this. Obviously it's running, rubbing against the front plate, right? Then you would loosen those, uh, in this case on the BC25, the four uh, set screws and then you would turn to adjust the drum so that it's not uh, rubbing against that front plate when heated. Another thing is, as I mentioned, if you notice in the debris tray that uh, 
you're starting to get a lot of debris. That could be simply the result of not enough airflow. But if you're starting to actually even see beans fall in here, then you're too far away and then you would need to pull it closer. So counterclockwise moves it closer, clockwise pushes the drum farther back. And then after you're done uh, adjusting it the way it should be done, simply hand tight these four set screws and you're good to go. And as I mentioned, because this is all built in like this, you can either do it like I'm doing now when, when you're not roasting and with the machine off, or you can do it on the fly if you're having an issue. Another thing to keep in mind is because this uses a different type of bearing than the older BC-25s, uh, which had the uh, ability to um, grease the bearing uh, with a little connector there, in this case you would while the machine's off and everything, you would take these four bolts out and then pull off this front and then hand grease it or use a grease gun to squirt in and spread around grease onto that front bearing. It does use a different type of bearing than uh, the older 2022 and older BC-25s. Another nice feature which you're not going to see here is we updated the data logger um, chip and so you no longer use, need to use a uh, dongle uh, plugged into your computer uh, to recognize that chip. Uh, you would just need to download a new driver which uh, and then download Artisan and then you can connect via uh, Bluetooth on your laptop and we'll show you how to do that and we do have some other videos that show how to do that as well.